Hello and welcome to another LSPEC training video. In this video we will talk about the analog VI tab in LSPEC G5 multi-functional recorder. The analog VI tab is an important part in the DFR configuration, enabling you to define channel mapping for precise data acquisition. Let's break it down step by step. Nominal frequency. In this section, you can select whether the network operates at 50 or 60 Hz. This choice ensures that your device synchronizes with the correct frequency for accurate data analysis. It's a fundamental setting for precision in data collection. Nominal flicker. Here you can choose the network voltage, either 120 or 230 volt. This parameter is vital for precise measurement. Keep in mind that adjusting nominal frequency or flicker settings will trigger a system reboot to apply the new configurations. Physical channels. In the physical channels area, each row corresponds to a physical channel on your G5 DFR device. The number of rows is determined by the installed analog cards. You can customize each row by assigning a custom name, channel type, primary and secondary factor values. Notably, the only editable, edita editable channel type is the low voltage channel. You'll have a voltage or current selection. Measurements for each channels are directly affected by the ratio between the primary and secondary values. The primary value must be greater than or equal to the secondary. Virtual channels. The virtual channel section allows you to map physical channel to various power topologies within your monitor system. The network elements, group, feeder and voltage virtual channels. To add a network, simply click the Add Network button. You can personalize network names. If you ever need to remove a network, you must first remove all existing feeders and then press the Remove button. The feeder elements Define the power topology and group current virtual channels. Adding a feeder is straightforward. Just press on the Add Feeder button. Then you can select a desired topology. Virtual channels with the appropriate, appropriate tags will be automatically added to the network and virtual channels. Feeder name are also customizable and if you wish to remove a feeder, simply press the Remove Feeder button. Virtual Channels Pressing on the Add Virtual Channel button allows you to add virtual channel. To remove a virtual channel, press the Remove Channel button. You can customize the channel name to make it easy to identify. The channel tag is essential as it defines the electricity meaning of a virtual channel. The nominal, the nominal value of, the, of a channel is used to select the network voltage or current level for a PQ event reference. You can specify up to four physical channels for a virtual channel using physical channel selection. See the example. Up to four 
physical channels. The factor allows you to specify how to add or subtract the measurement of the physical channels. In the end, you need to press Apply. Here you can see all the setup that you made. If you need a fresh start or want to clear all your network, feeders and virtual channels, click the Clear Virtual Channels button. In this section, you have the tools and options needed to precisely configure your G5 DFR device, ensuring that it's perfectly aligned with your monitoring requirement. As we explore each aspect in more details, you will discover how to maximize the potential of your device for accurate data analysis and monitoring. To ensure that your channel configuration are accurate, you can quickly review them by redirecting to the device overview modules. This feature allows you to double check and confirm that your settings are set up as intended, providing you with peace of mind and confidence in your device configuration. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like us on Facebook, connect with us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.